Hello, and welcome to the first edition of Ion Bullion. Today we're going to talk about junk silver, how to calculate the cost for it, so you can be better informed when you see these deals on eBay, Craigslist, or someplace else, even a coin show. So of course, constitutional silver, or junk silver, is any U.S. coins pre-1965. So we're talking here about primarily dimes, quarters, and 50 cent pieces. There's sometimes some confusion on how to calculate how much you're paying when you buy these types of coins. To make it worse, I believe some people list their auctions on eBay in a way to confuse you or make it seem like you're getting more than you really are. This is the way that the amount of coins you are getting is listed. You have standard ounces, you have troy pounds, you have a half pound, and you have a face value which I think is the most common, and the face value is pretty easy to calculate, so I like it when they give the face value, but unfortunately a lot of times they don't. So let's take a look at an example. Let's say something is selling for $8 face value, and it's pre-1965 U.S. coins, or junk silver, or constitutional silver. It would be nice to know exactly what those coins were, but it's not necessary to figure out their value. There's a couple different approaches you can take. The first one you can do is divide $8 by $1.40. This is because it takes $1.40 of face value to equal one ounce of silver. So eight divided by 1.4 is 5.7142. So there is 5.7 ounces of silver in $8 face value of constitutional silver. Here's a silver breakdown in troy ounces with wear. A dime is 0 0.071 troy ounces. A quarter is 0.179 troy ounces. A half dollar is 3.57 troy ounces. And a dollar, a Morgan or Peace dollar, is 0.764. Now again, these are the amount of silver with the coins having to wear on them. So this is kind of the uh, the designated amount that somebody's picked to see how much silver is in a coin with wear because almost all constitutional silver is going to have wear on it. So let's go back to our dollar forty reasoning, our dollar forty of face value being one ounce of silver. So if you take four quarters and four dimes, that's four times point one seven nine plus four times point zero seven one, that equals one ounce. If you take two half dollars and add four dimes, making a dollar forty, you have two times point three five seven plus four times point zero seven one, that equals point nine nine eight. So just a little less than an ounce, but uh, close enough. Another formula you can use is the calculation of how much silver is in a dollar. That number is point seven one five. This number has somewhere the coin built into it. Without wear, it's about 0.7234, but almost all junk silver is going to have wear. So for the $8 example we were using, you would multiply by 0.715 and you would get 5.72 ounces. So if spot is $14.72 and you're paying spot price for the constitutional silver, it would be $84.20. One more good formula to use is to know the weight in troy ounces. Remember, a troy ounce is 31.1 grams, which is different than a standard ounce, which is 28.4 grams. If you have the troy ounce information, you would multiply the weight by 0 0.90 and then multiply that by the spot price. So if you have three troy ounces, it would be three times 0 0.90, that's the amount of silver in there, times 14.72, and that would equal $39.74 at spot price or three troy ounces. So if you're buying some constitutional silver, my recommendation is to be patient. Do not overspend because you get excited and want what is being sold. If you look at silver bullion, 0.999 pure silver, it is very difficult to find it for spot or below. Yes, there's a few companies that have one-time offers for silver at spot, which you should go get immediately if you haven't already. But other than that, you won't find it unless you find someone on eBay who just doesn't know what they are selling. This is very rare. However, if you're in the constitutional silver, you can find that at spot many times below spot. Now you have to be patient and do your research, but it's out there. However, this is another area where I see people paying way too much. On eBay, constitutional silver is almost always overpriced. 
Frankly, you can get it from most of the online bullion dealers for cheaper than eBay. Monument Metals, Provident Metals, and SD Bullion is a good place to start. However, watch for additional shipping costs. That can change a good deal into a bad deal. So I hope this helps to clarify how to determine the reasonable cost for constitutional silver. It is okay to pay a little premium for it. Personally, I wouldn't pay more than 5 or 10%, but that's just me. I know if I hang on long enough, I can probably find it cheaper. In the past month, all the constitutional silver I bought off eBay has been for below spot. But again, you really got to hang in there and you really got to keep looking and be willing to walk away when the bids get up higher. But here's something else to consider. Right now, spot is below $15. If it goes up, even finding it in a spot could be more than what you would pay now with a 5 to 10% premium. That all has to be considered and is a reason why I may justify paying a little premium to buy it now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and press the little bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified when future videos are published. And as always, let's keep talking bullion. And thanks for watching the first edition of Ion Bullion.